The next feature we'll need to make are the elliptical shapes in the back of the original design. That shape is not constant down the length, so an extrude won't work. Instead, we'll employ a more advanced feature. And although we could do this by sketching and using a loft feature, as is being shown right now in warp speed, we have an even better method. Because of all the work I put into the loft, and I want a chance to bring it back at a later time if needed, instead of deleting it altogether, let's just suppress it. Now, for the better method, sculpting. This is not going to be a fully inclusive lesson on the ins and outs of this tool, so please remember again to visit the full Learn webpage for more details. Instead, I'll focus on the amazing benefits of designing within this workspace. The Sculpt workspace relies upon the incredibly flexible subdivisional modeling technique to enable quick and easy edits while maintaining the curvature continuity. Vertices, edges, and faces can all be pressed, pulled, and stretched to get the complex shapes that would take hours within a parametric modeling. Once you're happy with the shape, we'll use a boundary fill tool to cut the elliptical shape from the stand. And from there, all that's left to do is hide the body, add some more fillets, then we'll recreate this a couple times using our rectangular pattern tool. Because we were active on the stand component, all of the features have been added to its history. At this point, I think we're ready to print, so we'll access our integrated print tools by selecting the Make dropdown and 3D Print. This will send an STL of the body selected to a slicing software of your liking. If you need or want to work with SDLs or OBJs from Scans or Mesh Mixer, you'll find a devoted area to that as well. Use the Create dropdown and then Create Mesh. You can import these mesh files from external tools or even convert what you've made into a mesh. From there, Mesh Mixer like tools can be used to manipulate these in ways only meshes can be. In the next video, we'll jump into Direct Edit, the design method closest to what you use in 123D Design.